Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology. My email is 3klpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic the differences between the upper motor neuron of 12th nerve lesion and the lower motor neuron of the 12th nerve lesion. So UMN versus LMN lesions of the 12th cranial nerve. Cranial nerves part 72, hypoglossal nerve 12th nerve part 3. So UMN versus LMN lesions of the 12th nerve. The supranuclear lesions of the 12th nerve. The tongue weakness may result from a supranuclear, nuclear or infranuclear lesion. Supranuclear lesions cause weakness but there is no atrophy and the weakness is rarely severe. Because the genioglossus, the principal protractor of the tongue, has mainly crossed supranuclear innervation, the tongue protrudes towards the weak side but to the side opposite the supranuclear lesion. So, supranuclear lesion, supranuclear pathways supplies the genioglossal muscle of the 12th cranial nerve on the opposite side. So, imagine the right frontal cortex, it goes and supplies the genioglossal muscle of the 12th nerve nucleus on the opposite side. So, if there is a supranuclear lesion example of the right side, the left side the genioglossus muscle is affected. Since genioglossus muscle its action is to push the tongue to the opposite side. When it gets affected, the tongue will move towards the same side. So, because the genioglossus, the principal protractor of the tongue, has mainly crossed the supranuclear innervation, the tongue protrudes towards the weak side but to the side opposite the supranuclear lesion. A very important point. So, what are all the differences between the supranuclear and infranuclear lesions of the muscles innervating the tongue? The differences between the supranuclear and infranuclear lesions of the muscles innervating the tongue. UMN lesion and LMN lesion. Now let's check out on all the features. Site of the lesion. In a UMN lesion, it is contralateral to the side of the tongue deviation. So if right side gets affected, the tongue is deviated to the left side. So site of lesion, if it's a UMN lesion, it is a contralateral to the side of the tongue deviation. Whereas if it is LMN lesion, it is ipsilateral to the side of the tongue deviation. On protrusion, deviated to the side of the tongue paralysis. In LMN lesion also, it is deviated to the side of the tongue paralysis. A resting position in a UMN lesion, it is in neutral position. Whereas if it is an LMN lesion, it is deviated to the normal side due to the pull of the normal styloglossus. Wasting is absent in a UMN lesion. Wasting is present in LMN lesion but may be pseudo hypertrophy. Fasciculations are absent in a UMN lesion but are present in LMN lesion. There is dysarthria but dysarthria is plastic in type in UMN lesion and dysarthria is flaccid in type in U LMN lesion. When we palpate the tongue, it is plastic in UMN lesion whereas it is flaccid in LMN lesion. So, these are the wonderful concepts of the differences between the supranuclear and infranuclear lesions of the muscles innervating the tongue. The other important concepts of neurology I have put it in a question answer format in a book Focused Neurology written by me Dr. S. Srinivas. This book is available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. If interested this book could be purchased online. I hope you have enjoyed listening to the wonderful concepts of the differences between the UMN and LMN of 12th nerve lesions. If you have enjoyed it please like and share the link. But please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Sinwas Medical Concepts and my every page, Dr. Sinwas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.